I'm trying to consolidate my space and I had this entire box full of pretty much all of my world building stuff during college and even childhood, you know, when I was a preteen. I didn't want this giant chest in my house anymore. Um, what if I took all of these pages and just bound like this stupid goliath behemoth fucking amalgamation of just like shit <laughs> you know that i've made i'm just kind of gonna you know show that hang out also gonna show y'all some music i've been working on throughout the video and yeah so i do want to say i've only bound one book and the book turned out well however this thing is actually ridiculous. You will see as we go on further in the video, like, this is a brick. You can use this in a building, and it will, like, structurally support whatever you're using it for. I promise you that. It is a cement brick of just, like, childhood creativity for me. And I love that. And the song I'm playing right now is a Cut Wavy Colt song, which is my brother and I's band. It is gonna come out pretty soon. I've been remastering every song we've ever released, so... Uh, when that does come out, I will have it linked in the description. You can check that out for yourself. I'm just gonna kind of shut up now and let the video and music happen. start putting the pages together in this neat little format um my my thing didn't actually fit all the pages so i had to grab a bunch of tin foil and then slap some glue on it i have my skyrim books and other concept art books I'm, I'm using to weigh it down which in retrospect looks a lot funnier than it did when i actually did it but yeah look at that that is incredible And this, uh, this next song that I'm gonna be playing is called Anti-Culture, and it's just, like, not done. It's pretty close to being done, I guess, but I think, personally, that it slaps hard, so enjoy that. In my blood, that's wavy. Got you waking up, feeling low. Yeah, I got blood in my mouth. 
out, no problem, I got a list of rain. Now I'm lost in the rain. Now I'm lost in the rain. Now I'm lost in the rain. What? I think I'm Mr. Bridge. 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 I've been telling all these bitches, and you don't even know my name. I got all those bridges inside my heart, and I can't fucking take it anymore. <laughs> I had to break out the stapler here, as you can see. It's kind of funny because since like so many of these pieces are just like sorted through like a, a various amount of different size sketchbooks, like the pages, there's like not a lot of cohesion. And like you can see me struggle with that later on when I start like putting the sewing in. Uh, it was really a, a fucking mess, to be completely honest with you. But I think that's like part of the charm of doing stuff like this. And uh, since I talked about the Wavy Colt remasters, I'm actually going to play one of those for you. This one is called Seppuku, and I like it. If you wanna kiss, I'll just do it Let the pressure mine through and ruin you Wavy call in your blood is just us and you Pour it out, kill someone, we would die for you Step up, 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 and here after i got like most everything glued up you know i could start uh measuring out the puncture points so that i could thread the book together kind of annoyed because you know in retrospect i could have easily used the hammer to get the uh the the fucking the needle thing through i don't know exactly what it's called man yeah i messed up my hands later on when i got to like the thicker portions of of the books it's just it was just kind of a mess and you'll see some of that here in a bit This was my boy of 16 years, baby kitty, and he has sadly left this earth, oh man, almost over half a year now, which is just crazy to think about, you know, but um, he was a real good boy, he was a real, real good boy, and I miss him a lot, and uh, you know, it was just crazy, I mean, been with him since I was eight years old, and to be honest with you, he was kind of, kind of my only friend for a lot of my life, and is my only, I guess was my only consistent friend. <laughs> that could have been bad, but you know, I, just, um, anyone watching this with, with older pets, you know, uh, I made a mistake with BK um, when I got the cancer diagnosis and the arthritis was hitting him really hard. Uh, it's easy to get caught up and worry constantly about how much time you have left and to think about that first and foremost, but 
if I could go back and, oh my god, dude, do I wish I could go back? I miss him more and more every day. It has not gotten easier. It's gotten so much harder, but appreciate the time you have with them before they're gone. Don't get wrapped up in the fact they're leaving. <sighs> Boy, man. This this was the the segment that I you know really I was like shit okay this is going to cause some trouble for me it was so hard to get the stupid needle through these pages I and I didn't count the pages like I don't know how many there were but there was like a shit ton like if I slowed this down it probably took me like 2 or 3 minutes for every hole if not maybe a little a little bit longer like this shit sucked it was so stupid don't do this use a hammer do something don't fuck your wrist up man i was not i wasn't in agony you know like i'm not i'm not frail but man that shit hurt fuck that don't do that also I, i'm gonna talk a bit about the uh last book i actually binded right here which is actually my senior thesis and you know goes a bit more into how my art is now nowadays um I, I, you know this was my first book find it's actually not not a terrible job so i'll i'll show that in a video maybe do some, maybe talk about it i think that could be a lot of fun <laughs> the reason i actually found my own book and i'll do a side by side of this later uh to show everybody was that you know, I printed through Mixum, but I think I had fucked up the color profile when I... And I work in CMYK, you know? Um, but I worked... Oh! Whew, but I worked in the incorrect CMYK profile for Mixum. And, uh... Yeah, colors came out very muted. Practically turned black and white. The values were also, uh big shift. Next thing I knew, Thesis Gallery was in six days, and I was messaging them, you know, trying to get it all figured out for the gallery. Uh, I just kind of had to go with it, you know. I got them. I got them a few days before the gallery, and I said, oh, fuck this. <laughs> it's not, I don't feel right putting this in the gallery. So I buckled down. I have a CMYK printer here at home, and I printed, I think, the 67 pages of the fucking book double-sided luster to bring out those nice dark zones find it myself first time ever doing something like that I go through all that effort they put my book <laughs> in the gallery they put it on a like two foot by two foot table in the corner of the fucking room uh, so next to the stat oh yeah hold on statue that I made as well uh, was also on the two by two foot table in the corner of the fucking room. I actually figured while I struggle with this ugh, wrist pain and psychopathic shit that I'm doing, um, I'm actually gonna show y'all a song I'm working on. And it might not come through great on the camera, so I could, I might end up layering a like WAV file over the video, but. I just thought it'd be kind of fun to, to show y'all, because I feel good about it. I really enjoy it so far. It's, it's about Dead by Daylight, which is really fun. Dead by Daylight, I don't know where I've been or who I've been with when I hit the scorched earth. I'm running. I'm running. I died on the beach of the ground. I died on the beach of the ground. Outlets, two survivors, call it the night, but I just couldn't find her. Running for the gate, heart beating through my headspace, had to trick quick, gotta leave this place. Color to the fog. 
so actually threading the book was kind of an interesting challenge because i mean there's so many parts and they're all like so substantial my needle wouldn't actually fit through all the way 80 percent of the time while threading it and like i said man this book is stupid this entire thing is just ridiculous i know there are probably better ways of binding a book like this but you know i didn't do them it was it was interesting i kept the needle kept getting lost and i had to get pliers at a certain point to pull the needle through because the book was just too big that was really something else with all the pages being so you can see me just beating the shit out of it that's so funny and there are the pliers the the pages all being like different sizes I had to go in with different threads later on and thread together portions so they would still open properly because I can't use the same thread for that or else it's going to just <laughs> mess up. Oh my god, dude, I'm just beating the- I got the hammer out. Fuck it. <laughs> now it's a curved so yeah, this was a really fun day for me, I'm not gonna lie. It also kept, like, poking the string, like, the thread, the needle would get caught in the thread. I kind of miss doing it, though, now that I'm watching it again. Like, it was frustrating, but it's also, like, very satisfying. Uh, I'm gonna play another song now. I, I don't fucking know which one, just... <laughs> Would you believe me if I said that I took a fucking, uh, like, mini buzzsaw to the book? Cause I did. <clears throat> am I gonna... Am I gonna hurt myself with this thing? And then this is also loose now.
Something fun about putting a, a miniature like buzzsaw type of thing or whatever the hell you call it is, um, you know, when you're burning through a bunch of paper and glue, you just get a bunch of like toxic fumes and the book almost catches on fire uh, multiple times and it's really fun and it's awesome. Try it. And the ribs blow, pitch black like soul jam Count them up, big stack, last black Put the buses in the places, steal the big racks Know what kind of my sins like dead on the track Fuck em up Fuck em up, 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 fuck em up I'm gonna be so real with you. I recorded this video like a month ago. Um, I never ended up putting the actual like hardcover on it. The, like the video is already like 23 minutes long. So I'm probably just gonna end it here, do the cover and then like upload the tour sometime later this week. So if you're interested in actually seeing the, like the contents of this book, then definitely like come check it out but that's definitely that's gonna be it for me on this one i will make sure to link the video exploring the inside of the book uh in the in the bio whatever of this video so that way you can just click directly to it if you're interested but as of now i don't know if it'll i'll probably get it uploaded like friday or saturday or there's some something around that i don't know i got a lot of shit going on right now thank you for watching bye